Hello, today we're going to see how to build a layout and assign it to your dough. Here we're using Ableton Live. In the lab, let's start by selecting a keyboard module and dragging it onto the surface, then extending its length with a simple click. In the Tune Lab, enable MPE if you want to take full advantage of the synthesizer expressive potential. In Ableton, make sure MPE is checked in the MIDI settings tab. Select the MIDI track here and under MIDI from choose ERA2 MIDI MPE. You can now play with the keyboard, in this case a pad designed to respond to pressure and vibrato using the instrument's MPE controls. Now I'd like to play some drums. In the lab, I select the drum pad module and place it onto the surface. I only want to play six samples, so I reduce the module to six keys with a simple click. Then I extend its dimensions by holding shift and dragging the module's edge. In MIDI from, I select ERA2 MIDI and channel 1. I can now play my drums like this. Now I want to play a effects type instrument. I'm interested in this instrument, Triton in Ableton Live, and I'd like to control its parameters with my ERA2. To do this, in the lab, I choose a key and drag it onto the surface. I change its visual appearance to match the sound. I can change the color and finger animation. In tune, I choose channel 16 and enable the different control change parameters like pressure, X and Y. In Ableton and using the screen of my ERA2, I'll now assign these controls to the desired parameters. I press Command plus M to enable MIDI mapping. I press the routing button on my ERA, click on the parameter I want to map, then activate the desired control on my ERA by selecting it with the selection wheel and pressing it like this. The X apps is now assigned to the tuning and the Y apps to spread. It sounds like this. With my other hand, I'd like to control the decay of my reverb. I select a fader 1D, and again in Ableton, I press Command M, select the parameter like before, and this time I just touch the fader to assign it. Now I can control my reverb using the fader. Well, I hope this helped and until next time, let the touch guide your sound. Thank you.